Good day, my VB students, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am Fala Hanwilekon. Today, I'm discussing second class citizen, written by Uchi Emecheta. I've earlier discussed the plot summary of the text and the chapter by chapter analysis of the text. The next is the narrative techniques used in the text. I've also discussed the themes as well as the characters. Now, what do we understand by narrative techniques? Narrative techniques refer to the different ways the author has used in a narrating a story. The different techniques he or she has used in passing across information to the readers. That's what we call narrative techniques in literature and English. Now let's go ahead. The first technique that is used, I mean, one of the techniques used in the text is omniscient narrative technique. Omniscient narrative technique. Omniscient is an attribute of God Almighty. He sees and knows the thoughts of every creature. This attribute is transferred to this type of narrating a story. The author makes use of this technique in this novel. Everything about the characters is revealed including their thoughts and plans. The readers are also provided with a direct assessment of the action, characters, and environment of the characters. Another technique is biblical allusion. This is making reference to the events in the Bible in relation to the events in the novel. There is extensive use of biblical allusion in the novel. It is used in nearly all the chapters of the novel. A good example is when Ada kept the two shillings given to her by her cousin to buy a pound of stick for her entrance examination fee. You know, she, she kept that money to register herself for the entrance examination. To give credence to the vice, she refers to what Jesus said that one should not steal. She then counters it with another passage from the Bible that says, one could be as clever as the serpent, but as harmless as the dove. Another instance is where Adra condemns the worshipping of Oboshi, that's the Oboshi, the Oboshi River, that by doing that, they are enemies of God. She also refers to a portion of the Bible where God told Moses that he was a jealous God. Quotes, Feasting the iniquity of fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that ate him. Unquote. Another technique is flashbacks. This is a sudden recall of a past event in the course of a narrative, which helps in propelling further the play or novel. An example of this in this novel is when Fiki is ill and admitted to the hospital. Other then remembers the first time she was in the hospital when she gave birth to Titi. She also remembers that it is only Pa in her family that has been in the hospital. Another example is when Fiki is diagnosed with a meningitis and Ada goes to Trudy to tell her. Trudy responds that she phoned the hospital and told them that Fiki was brought to London a few months ago and that he could have caught the disease from water drunk in Nigeria. Ada then flashed back to the time she delivered Fiki in Nigeria in the best hospital. Best word under the most efficient Swiss gynecologist that the Americans provided for her. This is part of the fringe benefit attached to working for Americans. Another technique is classical allusion. This is a reference to a particular event or character in classical works of literature, such as ancient Roman or Greek works, or any literature text written by a renowned author. This is used in the novel. When Ada wakes up one morning in July in the UK and feels very tired, many thoughts go on in her mind as a result of their living conditions to the extent that she wants to regret her coming to London. She then compares the heaviness of the thoughts in her mind to the heavy load of Christianity in a classical work titled The Pilgrim's Progress. Another example is at the same event, Ada feels like waking up Francis and telling him how she feels, but she knows that he will not listen or dismisses it as mere superstition. She then compares it with the way Caesar dismissed the wife's dream 
after the ice of March. I'd also like is how she is tied up on the bed in the ward after a successful operation when she asked Bubu to the way the little Lilliputians tied Gulliver in the Gulliver's travel. She also compares the way she enjoyed the songs of birds to how a famous poet, William Wordsworth, was also inspired by the song of a bird. That's in chapter 11 of a second class uh, citizen. Another technique is suspense. This is a feeling of tension or anxiety caused by a lack of awareness of the possible outcome of the trend of events in a narrative. The author may withhold some vital information until the tail end of the novel or play to sustain the interest of the readers or audience as the case may be. This is used in this novel when Fiki is sick on Christmas Day that Francis goes to put a call through to the doctor. Francis is being accompanied back to the house by two policemen. Ada then entertains fear that maybe Francis has killed the doctor and is being taken to jail. Uh, okay, he's been taken to jail. Uh, yes, that should be should be jail. Yes, has been taken to, to jail. That is just in the house to say goodbye. That is to go and say goodbye to to him. The true picture of this is suspended to the end of the chapter, that is chapter 10. After a Chinese doctor has attended to Fiki, it is then revealed that Francis went to the police to lodge a complaint when the Indian doctor refused to come. So that is uh, suspended till the tail end of that chapter. So that is uh, uh, an example of uh, suspense. The next one there is trance. This is a state of unconscious condition whereby someone receives information. It is an unconscious state of wakefulness in which a person is not self-aware and is either unresponsive to the happenings around him or her, and in the process receives some information. This is used in this novel when Ada is operated on when she is delivered of Bobo in the UK. She goes into a trance where she sees that everything is perfect in their family that she and Francis are back in Nigeria, where they are living in affluence, and their terrible life in the UK is now history. Titi and Fiki in the trans are abroad, while other children are with them in Nigeria. Peace reigns supreme in the family. That is uh, in chapter 8. You see that through each of these uh, techniques, uh, certain information has been passed to the leaders. So that is a... Uh, uh, what we call narrative techniques in literature in English. So, so far so good. I've uh, discussed the plot summary of the text, the chapter by chapter analysis of the text, the characters, the themes, and uh, lastly, the narrative techniques. So, if you miss any of this video, you can just search for Fola or Yelekan. Just write Fola or in the search box on uh, YouTube. Just write Fola or Yelekan. Second class citizen. It brings it will bring out all the videos. Or just write in the comment box that you need any of these videos. I will just send the link to you. Uh, for more on literature, for this and um, more on literature, please subscribe to this uh, channel by hitting on the uh, subscription button. You see, subscribe. Just click on it. There is also a bell icon there. Click on the bell icon. You take you to a drop, you see a drop down, you see all, just click on all, so you'll be able to see all my videos. Thank you and God bless.